issue, come on. Today we're going to talk about our furry friends, our furry family. And if you can't get to the groomer right now or get to the vet, even if it's for little things like you think maybe they have an ear infection or their ears are really dirty or their nails need clipping, these are all things that you can do at home. And we are lucky in that my daughter Amanda is a groomer and we call her the dog whisperer because when she gets around animals, any animal really, um, or mostly dogs, she they're just so calm. But I know that's not the case for everybody. So with having her in the family, we've learned quite a lot over the years. So I thought I would just share a few tips on how to do these things, how to clean your dog's ears safely, um, how to trim their nails and give them um, a little bit of kind of like a sanitary grooming so that they can keep happy and comfortable and um, being fresh and clean all winter long until you can get to the groomer or get to the vet for what you need. So the first thing we're going to do today, and Gunnar does not like it at all, so we're going to just pretend we're brushing him. Of course, brushing is a good first step um, to any good grooming for your pet. And what I like to use, because Gunner is a fur ball, there's hair, always hair everywhere, I like to use this rake brush. And that works really well for getting a lot of the hair, loose hair off. And Gunner, sit. Gunner loves to get brushed. Sit, we could brush you. Yeah. And he loves to get brushed. So um, we, I try to brush him out really well, at least once a week, because that keeps my house from getting super hairy. Um, also, my new best friend for when it's change of the seasons and they, um, he is getting um, his new coat. I love the Furminator, the Furminator. They make it for small dogs, they make it for big dogs. And you just push the button, the hair comes out. And this thing is crazy. Like you just rake it through. He loves it. Just like you would when you're brushing him. And it takes a lot of that undercoat off. It's great. And we don't have to worry so much about hair getting everywhere. It's spraying everywhere. That's a good boy. There we go. There we go. So, first thing we're going to do, because it's what Gunner likes the least is we're going to clean out his ears so if you notice that your dog's ears um, have dark waxy stuff coming out or you can see on the outside then probably they need a cleaning so if they have recurring ear infections or anything like that and what we use instead of going and getting the vet stuff and stuff that has chemicals in it we use um, a solution of green tea and apple cider vinegar. So you can, <laughs> come here, Gunner, you have to stay home. Okay, so we've made it down to the floor because Gunner doesn't want to stand up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna clean Gunner's ear. So if you notice your dog has um, any kind of brown or um, brown waxy gunk on the top or coming out of his ear, or if the air is red or irritated, it's probably um, a buildup of yeast. So uh, you wanna clean that out and get that out of there. So if you can't get to the vet and you don't wanna buy over-the-counter over stuff at the pet store, because you don't know what's in it, you can use, what we like to use, is we use three quarters of a cup of green tea with three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in it. And you mix that in Make your green tea just like you normally would. Put three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, mix that up. Wait till it cools down a little. And you can make a bunch of this up. You keep it in the fridge and then just warm it up just a little bit before you use it. So you can use a syringe. And what we're gonna do is we are going to pull, pull Gunner's ear up a little bit here. I wish we could show you here a little closer, but he, he kind of gets a little trampy and tries to run when we do this. So 
um, you have a canal in the dog's ear that makes like an L. It goes down and makes an L shape. So you want to fill up that canal with the solution and then you want to rub, rub it and you can hear it squishing, rub it, get it all in there. They're going to want to shake their head so you're going to want to have a towel handy, which I got to get off of here because he's going to want to shake his head. And then you're going to go in with your cotton balls and you're going to clean it. So you're going to pull the ear back a little and you're going to fill up that canal. And it may seem like a lot, but that's what you have to do. Come on. That's a good boy. And like the gunner, we need to, we need to do it fast because usually you want to have, <coughs> you want to have two people doing it. Come in. Come on. Come on. You got to get your ears clean. Sit. That's a good boy. Oh, got me right in the eye. So you're going to want to fill up that canal and then you're going to want to squeeze it in there, rub it around. <laughs> I got apple cider vinegar in my eye. Squeeze it in there, rub it around, and you can hear it squishing down in there. Okay, okay, hold on. Then they're going to want to, they're going to, want to shake. Good boy. Good boy, come in. Come on, we're going to wipe it out. Come on. Come on. We're going to wipe it out. Sit. Hold on. Come on. <laughs> Sit. Okay, you're done. You're done for that ear. So then we're going to want to take our cotton balls and we're going to, we're just going to wipe it out. Yeah. Doesn't that feel good? And wipe around down in there as best that you can to get everything out. You'll have a little bit. His ears are relatively clean. We try to do it as much as we can. Yes, there we go. There, good boy, brother. Always have treats on hand. We always have treats on hand when we do this. Very good boy, Gunny. Yes, very good boy. Now the green tea um, is a natural antibacterial um, along with the apple cider vinegar is also an anti-inflammatory. So that's really good. And if your dog's ears are really red or inflamed, leave the apple cider vinegar out and you can do this just with the green tea. And you can do this a couple times a day if they're having trouble or problems with the yeast in their ears and you can get that all cleaned out. Best if you have two people because um, you can kind of hold them still and um, so you can get that in there. Once it's in there, it's fine. You know, he loves to swim, so I'm surprised he's not used to having the water in his ears. Okay, so next what we're going to, oh, I also want to mention that um, if they do have um, a problem with the yeast and reoccurring, um, this is from a vet, um, you can get Clotramazole and I'll link that. That's an anti-fungal. It's over the counter for ten bucks a tube, um, and you can put that in their ear if they have really a lot of problems with recurring ear infections and the yeast build up in there. And if you see that a lot comes out when you do do this, and like I said, get right in there, rub it, squeeze it, that ear canal, that L-shaped ear canal, get it all in there, loosen it all up, and then they'll shake their head like crazy. Um, to loosen it up and then get in there with your cotton balls. You can use swabs on the outside of the ear only. Oh, with Gunner, we just do on the outside to get any debris. Never stick a Q-tip down in a dog's ear. Just like you're not supposed to stick it down in your ear, but we do. But <clears throat> Because you could hurt their, their ear canal, so you have to be very gentle with that. Good job, Gunner. Good job. So now we're going to um, move on to the nail clipper. So Gunner feels like being a lazy butt today, so really pretty easy. Hi huh, Gunner, you being a lazy butt? So with your dog's pads and their feet and their nails. So um, if you're lucky enough to where your dog's nails are a little bit see-through, you can see the little pink part. Gunners are a couple of colors. So he has light and he has dark. So on the light side, I can see the pink on the inside. That's the quick. You don't want to cut that. They will bleed. If you do, um, and you're doing your dog's own nails, um, 
you can get some styptic powder, a little thing of styptic powder at the dog's um, pet store, and that will help stop the bleeding. You just dip his nail on there and it'll help stop the bleeding. Um, they might yip a little, but it's not gonna be anything that really hurts them, but you need to keep it clean after. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get some doggy nail clippers, and if they're good like Dunner and they just lay there, we're very lucky. Um, or have someone help you lay the dog um, out on your lap and with their paws facing up, lay them on their back and have someone maybe rubbing their belly, keeping them occupied as you snip their nails. It's really the easiest way to do it. If you have a big dog, get down on the floor and do it this way and have somebody help you. So all you're going to do is you're going to go just a little bit above that quick and you're just going to give it a snip and that one's lying. You can also file your nails, your dog's nails after if they are a little rough. Um, you can get a nice heavy nail file and file that down. So once you get all your dog's nails done and it, it, trying to go fastest is best. So if you can go fast and get them clipped down and then get them filed. Most dogs really do love the pampering. Pet them while you do it, rub their foot. Um, it is a lot easier. And it's nice time spent with your, your pet too, with your animal. So once you get the nails all clipped and take a look at the pads of their feet, it's getting to be fall and winter. And with Gunner, Gunner gets very dry um, pads of his feet. So I have found a wonderful um, product that's natural, it's organic, and it's called um, Paw Soother. You can see that, Paw Soother. And I'll link it in below. And all we do is I just take this and I rub it. It's like a little deodorant stick, it's great. Rub some on the bottoms of his pads of his paws and just rub it in. And that's a nice thing to do too, to sit and with your pet and do these kind of things. They just love it and it's nice to pamper them. We pamper ourselves sometimes, so we need to pamper them too. And Gunnar just loves it. <laughs> I think he's gonna fall asleep. And um, also, if in the summertime they have any kind of issues with, sometimes the gnats and bugs um, give your dog the itchies or whatever or dry skin. And they also make a skin soother and he was having a problem with dry skin on his belly last winter. So we got the Skin Soother right there. I'll link them both. I'll link the company so you can look and see and try out their stuff. I just, I love their stuff. And you can rub that on their skin, rub it in. And that really helped. It's just wonderful and it's all natural. So once you get those two things done, um, as far as the pads of their feet, um, the, the hair in between, if you have a small, you can either cut it with the scissors, be careful you don't cut the pads of their feet, um, you can use the hair clippers. And if you have small hair, hair clippers, it's good. Sometimes you can use the big hair clippers and um, it tickles, but you know, once they get used to hearing the sound and then you just easily go in between the pads of his feet and get that hair out. I usually have my daughter do this because while anyone can do it, just be careful, um, she does it lickety fast. She's like zip, 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 and it's done. She does most all of our stuff for us. The dog whisperer, the animal whisperer. And um, because she's so comfortable with animals, they feel comfortable with her. So also, um, I think you can also too, I don't think he's gonna get up. I think he's just gonna lay here, but you can put an attachment on. You know, you can buy these wreath, these um, clippers. I see no difference in um, just a regular man's clipper that you buy and a dog clipper. I've had them both and you just buy a wall for $15 at the store and use it for your dog. If you have a dog with longer hair, um, and usually they come, the, the clippers come with a smaller um, attachment tool for guys for their beards or whatever, mustaches. Um, 
You can also do, put the long attachment on, this is what I do for Gunner, um, to do a sanitary clean around their derriere section. And I just comb it through. That way you're not, with the attachment, you're not getting right to their skin. You're not like shaving their butt bald. You're just getting the hair, you know, you're thinning it out and cleaning it up. You might want to use a shorter one under the tail and around so that um, you can keep it nice and clean. So um, I think that's it. I think I covered everything. Dog shampoo, um, our favorite to give Gunner a bath, which is super fun, is um, the Green Tea Mineral Spa shampoo. They smell so nice. Green tea is huge and, and stuff with your dogs. They can tolerate it. It's healthy for them. It's good for them. Um, and um, while some dogs may not love the bath or Gunner loves his bath, he jumps right in the tub. But um, it's good for their skin. It's good for their hair. Um, and there won't be any um, chemicals and stuff in it that's not good for them to smell and soak into their skin. So any kind of shampoo and conditioning products for their coat with green tea is really good. And I did mention the rake combs and the Ferminator um, for the dogs, especially now that they're getting their winter coat. You want to keep it nice. You want to keep the snarls and the knots down. So um, we'll link some, some of these products so that you can try them out. Um, as far as teeth um, and stuff and chewing, you know, you can get raw bones are the best. You can usually go to the butcher and get some raw bones. Spread out a nice towel for them to have it on. Teach them that that's where they have to go with it because they do get kind of messy. The raw bones do have marrow and, you know, a little bit of meat on them that can get kind of messy. But So that's our tutorial. If there's anything else, we got the ears cleaned. We've got the coat brush. We've got the nails clipped and the pads done and moisturized. And especially in the winter don't fall don't forget about their their little pads tend to get very dry and cracked so in coconut um, oil you can even rub some coconut or olive oil on your dog's pads if you don't want to get the skin soother you can do that too and it's really good it's good for their paws and stuff um, also I want to let you know that um, if your dog is having um, problems with the ears because it's a big thing with dogs that you can give your dog um, turmeric curcumin so you can give them depending on their weight um, you can look it up or you can call a physician um, a veterinarian your doctor might think you're crazy calling about your dog call your veterinarian or um, look it up I love dr. Andrews I learn a lot from him I learn a lot from his website it's called veterinary secrets I'm gonna link it below so that you guys can check it out if you're having any issues he talks about everything and he talks about the ear cleaning, he talks about nail clipping, he talks about everything that's um, an alternative and holistic and good for your dog and, you know, good for you to do too. A lot easier, a lot cheaper than what, you know, you pay for all these, you know, medicines and everything else that you use on your dog. So I'm going to link his website because when Amanda's not around, I refer to it, and he is wonderful, and you'll love it. So, and I think he covers, gosh, he covers everything. So, if you have any um, anything else you want to know about, go to D um, Doc Andrews' website, and um, I hope that you spend a little time with your pet today. Um, Gunner looks like he's just just napping, napping, napping. So thank you, Gunner. Thank you for being semi good boy. We got one ear done. We got to get the other one done. Yep, we do. So everyone have a wonderful day. Give your pets a kiss and a hug and um, pamper them a little bit. So they deserve it. They are part of our family and they are God sent. So have a wonderful day, everyone. And um, hugs and kisses from the canine family. Thank you. Bye-bye.